the de this building doesn't belong to the Department of Social Development. Let, let us just clarify that and start a And secondly, the responsibility we will take as a government, and especially at national and provincial level, is to look after the people that were in this building, find out uh, where they are I'm going. I've been given now the address of where those people are. And secondly, what is important for the Department of Social Development is to deal with the post-traumatic stress of what has happened to these people. I can't imagine what it could have been needed there with a the child and the fire there. So what happened and who is responsible for what the, 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 the due process and the law will take its course from the point of view of the police and, and everybody concerned. The Department of Social Development sincerely cannot take responsibility of a building that did not fall under the Department of Social Development. What, what do you make as well of NGOs who are housing women and children as well in some of the derelict buildings in Johannesburg? These are NGOs as well. Obviously, some saying they try to get assistance from the Department of Social Development, but there isn't any intervention. There, is no, there is no NGO that is worth anything that can be keeping women and children under such circumstances. I don't think it was an NGO that was that was taking rent from the people who are here. And any other NGO that is anywhere, keeping anybody anywhere, there are processes, due processes, and there are standards and norms that have to be done by the NGOs. Because I keep saying, this government of the African National Congress spends eight, 800 and... Uh, 80, 80, 80, 82, no, 82 billion per year giving that amount of money to NPOs in order for those NPOs to make sure that what they say they stand for, what they are there for is done properly. And that amount of money is a lot of money that has to be given to NPOs. Some NPOs, I can tell you, they're doing the best. Actually, they're stretching much more than what the government is giving them because many of them, they go beyond what government is giving them. They go to the private sector, they go to churches, they go to different organizations to get more support. As far as we are concerned, as a Department of Social Development, I can assure you, with the MEC, if she was here, she would also be expressing the same sentiment that there is no NGO. We are the custodian of the, of the NGO Act. And we are not only custodian of the NGO Act, we also support NGOs by training the NGOs, by registering the NGOs, by deregistration of NPOs also when they are not doing the right thing. So there's no NPO that was responsible for this building, I can assure you that. Minister, you spoke so 